guys welcome back to the channel so first of all just log in with your credentials and once you're done with this just simply click on this checkbox and click on agree and continue now just wait for a second and here just simply search for the kubernetes cluster okay just open it wait for a second and then click on this three dot then click on connect and then click on this run in cloud shell option just click over here and just let me just adjust this okay and i will recommend you just open online notepad because we need in later steps okay so just open the online notepad now just wait click on this cross click on got it and once you run one command is already executed for you just hit enter and click on authorize now what you have to do just simply come on the task number two because we done with the task number one already now just copy this command turn over here just wait for to this command get execute let me increase the text size for you and it's done now what you have to do is just copy the second command of task number two and paste over here and hit enter and when you run this command you will get a token now what you have to do just copy the third command and run over here and here you can see this is our token so just copy this token carefully and okay make sure you copy the token carefully like this and you have to just paste over here you cannot see the token you just need to copy paste and hit enter and once you hit the enter you will get this kind of output now again scroll down copy this command run over here again scroll down copy this command and just wait for this command get execute and it's done now run the last command of task number two now what you have to do just simply come over here copy this command carefully do not copy that full stop let me just zoom in for you like this copy this command okay copy this go back to your notepad and paste over here now what you have to do just wait until you get the external ip okay just wait for a couple of seconds and you will see external ip over here and as you can see we are able to see the external ip now just copy this external ip go back to your notepad and from this square bracket till here like this remove this paste your external ip then copy this thing go back to and open the new tab and here click on this advanced then click on this proceed now just simply come back over here copy this admin paste over here as a username then copy the password and paste over here and just simply click on create account now we need a license here is here you can see we need a license so just copy this command go back to your dashboard and first of all you have to just press ctrl c for just terminating this task okay now what you have to do just copy this command paste over here and once you run this command you will get a license key okay copy the license key carefully from here we have run this command and just copy from this next line like this okay if you make any mistake while copying the license key you will get an unnecessary error over here so just make sure of that once you click on register you will get successfully loaded now what you have to do just simply click on this close then click on this first of all just click on this cross then click on this manage option then click on this defenders then click on this names okay just wait then click on this add just wait for a second it will reload the page then click on this advanced option then click on this proceed wait for a second and it's reloading the page okay so we are done with this task now what you have to do just wait and then click on this deploy option and here please pay attention from here you have to choose the console option make sure on the point number three we have to choose the console op option now just simply scroll down and here you can see on point number 14 nodes use container runtime just enable this thing like this then from here to cho choose a linux and now copy this command okay go back to your kubernetes and or you can say dashboard and run over here and once this command is execute you will get a score on the task number two as well okay so just wait until this command get execute
and as you can see the command is executed successfully if you just simply come over here and click on the check my progress you won't get a score on first time okay let's just wait and as you can see no need to worry about this thing just wait for at least two to three minutes and after that if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue because lab take time to update a score so just wait for a couple of minutes and let's see just wait for one more minutes and let's see Now let me just again click on the check my progress and let's see and as you can see after a couple of minutes i got a score and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day